The Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most unique and biologically diverse ecosystems. The reef is resilient, which means it can recover from difficult conditions, including natural disasters, but it is increasingly under pressure. Climate change, coastal development, land-based runoff from agriculture, overfishing and illegal fishing, and marine debris are affecting the reef. Today, we're focusing on marine debris. So what is marine debris? Have you ever been down to the beach or river and seen plastic bottles, balloons, or even a tire sitting on the bank or floating in the water? That's marine debris. It's any solid, manufactured material that makes its way into the ocean. Anything can become marine debris if we don't dispose of it in the right way. From a small cigarette butt to a big piece of rope, rubbish being dropped in the street can make its way down a drain and into the ocean. In fact, plastic is one of the most common forms of marine debris. Once plastic is in the ocean, it never disappears. It just breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces. These tiny pieces of plastic are called microplastics. All of our species of turtles found in Australian waters have been impacted by marine debris. They might have eaten it or become entangled in it. So sometimes turtles have come in because they've been starving and later they've pooped out things like fishing line. So we don't always know that they've been impacted, but a lot of the times they have. So they can eat things like plastic bags because they mistake them for their natural food of jellyfish. Once a plastic gets inside a turtle's stomach, it can block it up and cause it to not work anymore. This can cause what we call floating syndrome. They get stuck at the surface and might be more vulnerable to things like boats, but also predators. With me here, I have some plastic bags that have actually passed through a turtle's stomach and come out the far side. In some cases, there's so much plastic inside a turtle's stomach that it can't work properly any longer. Microplastics are tiny little plastics that can get into the ocean from all different ways. Sometimes they're made that way, so things like beads in um, conditioning products are microplastics. Other times they're bigger plastics that are broken down. Microplastics are impacting a lot of our marine life, including our turtles. So little bits of plastic are inside their food and then can build up inside their body. Marine debris is a big problem for the Great Barrier Reef's animals, plants and habitats. We all have an important role to play in protecting the Great Barrier Reef. Marine debris starts with us and can end with us. Queensland students in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority's Reef Guardian Program are getting involved in the fight against marine debris. We make sure that we protect our beautiful riverway just next to us and um, we make sure that no litter goes into it. We're putting stenciling down across all the drains. Stenciling the concrete will obviously show boys that our rubbish does affect the reef. We also have um, something called nude food days where it's like um, plastic free lunch boxes. In a litter free lunch box you might, you might find that there's no, there's no plastic or anything that could pollute the ocean. Our school does paper recycling in classrooms. We do can recycling and we do yellow bin recycling. You have the power to stop marine debris before it starts. Ask yourself where your rubbish will go and make sure you refuse. Make a choice and say no to throwaway plastic containers and drink bottles. Reduce. Reduce the amount of plastic you use. Take snacks to school that don't come in plastic bags or containers. Reuse. Use a reusable or refillable container or water bottle instead of disposable containers and bottles. Recycle. Put your rubbish in the right bin and help others use the right bin too so your rubbish can have a second life. And take action. Join a cleanup at your local beach or creek. Don't let your litter bug our reef. For more tips on reducing marine debris or to join a marine debris cleanup near you, visit www.gbrmpa.gov.au.